Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to effectively use the Smart Search feature within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. The Proofpoint Smart Search module allows administrators to trace and analyze information about messages once they have been processed by the Proofpoint Messaging Security Gateway. Administrators can quickly trace what happened to messages to solve email delivery problems and analyze overall email infrastructure behavior. Detailed information about a message once it's been processed provides administrators with the ability to quickly answer email transaction questions from the business email community, help desk, and the customer support staff. When using Smart Search, you should be aware of the number of results and time, as these will affect the amount of results you retrieve from the database. It should also be noted that Smart Search is not real time. It can take five or six minutes for an email to display. We can search for an email based on the subject, sender, or recipient. We can then see an overview of the full thread, as well as any actions that were taken at each point. An example would be when an end user calls and inquires as to why they have not received an email from an external partner. Given the email address, we can search for the sender. The results show us that the email has a final action of quarantined and discarded. This means that the email was copied to a quarantine folder and then discarded, thus not reaching the intended recipient. We can review the email further to discover why this happened. The plus symbol will show more information while the magnifying glass will show the email in its quarantined location on the Proofpoint server. By viewing the plus symbol first, we can review important information about the email. This would include the sender IP, the policy route, the quarantine rule, final rule, message size, and much more, all details that are useful for finding the disposition of an email. We can now see that the email was stopped and placed in a folder called blocked. With little knowledge of the configuration of this system, we can already determine that the email must have hit the spam module and more specifically, the organization or personal block list. To access additional information, click on the magnifying glass. This will take us directly to the email in its quarantine folder. Here we can see triggered rules, headers and source as well as the email message itself. If we look at the triggered rules, we can see some interesting entries in the spam section. A quick check of this user's block list entry tells us that there indeed has been a block specifically placed on their email address. It's important to remember that Smart Search is not real time, as it can take five minutes to update. The number of days of log retention is set under the Smart Search module and settings page. Finally, Smart Search has a range of fields to search from, including subject, sender, recipient, and rule ID. It's also primarily used to trace the disposition of emails, but can be used to quickly check mail flow or the operation of a rule or a recent change. Thank you for watching our brief how-to video tutorial on how to effectively use the Smart Search feature within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.